Hello, hello. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. Um, you know, since last time I got level 70 on Dark Knight. I didn't get level 70 on anything else. I just didn't have the time today. <laughs> uh, I went ahead and, since we still don't have access to spending our poetics at Ralker's Reach, because we won't until after the conclusion of the 4.0 storyline, I went ahead and bought upgrades. Uh, although I made these weapons on my main, uh, and melded them. I didn't do overmelt because materia gets too expensive for the most part. But you notice the materia tier 6 give us 40 stat per materia, so overmelds aren't quite as important. And, you know, this is going to be filler gear anyway. But you notice we've got some giant substats now. Giant. Absolutely giant. And we gained about 24,000 HP, so. It's, uh, it's good stuff. Anywho, we're going to do these uh, Dark Knight job quests so that we can get access to our most powerful tank skill. One of the most, if not the most, one of the most powerful tank skills in the entire game. And one of the reasons I like Dark Knight is, you know, it goes along with the story that we lost half of our ether, you know, half of our power, and we still haven't got it back yet. So, we're gonna reclaim that. Galleon, huh? C come to share the fire. I would stand to greet you, stranger, but my legs, my eyes, the whole of me is not as it once was. Clyde, I know that name. And that voice by Ralker, you're still alive. Praise him. Praise him. Who is this man on the verge of death? Is he your friend? Nay, nay, though I'm flattered that you would think so. This man made medicine for me long, long ago at the behest of Captain Mephrit, when we were still in Quarry Mill. If I'd kept it all for myself, I'd have made a full recovery, but I couldn't. I had a dear friend, you see, and so I made a choice. He got better. I, I didn't. Ended up working for the Griffin, he did. As right hand man, even. But like all the rest, he went to the wall. He never came back. The irony of it that I'd be the one to outlive them all. If only for a little while. And so I sit here and await the reckoning. 
as I rot from the inside out. The husk of the freedom fighter I aspired to be. Oh, dear. I, more than anything, there's no point in praying for the impossible. He died with the rest, I'm sure of it. He was the Griffin's double, and on top, and one of his top commanders besides. You're a kind boy, you are, and I'm grateful for the company in these twilight hours, but there's no need to trouble yourself further. My time is nearly spent. and spend the remainder thinking of better days, Galleon, and not dwelling on the deaths of me and mine. God, strike me down. Hodart? No. No, it can't be. This is not more than a trick. An illusion. A lie. But even if it is a lie, hear me, Hodart. I've a favor to ask of you. One final favor of it for a dying fool. Return to the Reach, to Bloodstorm. Offer a prayer to our brothers there. I will, Galleon. You have my word. To Mefford and Galleon, you were larger than life. I always wanted to meet you, and here we are. Though I reckon this doesn't really count, does it? Well, we met... If you were the Griffin's body double, then we met like twice. If only I could go back and tell myself what a blind, bloody fool I was to place my trust in the Griffin. Maybe then Galleon wouldn't be dying alone. Listen, he hasn't got much time. I'll lead the way. The wilds between here and the Reach aren't too dangerous, but as you can see, I'm unarmed, so I'll not be any good to you in a fight. Mm-hmm. Well, Clyde can do that, that's for sure. Strong as ever, huh? Stronger th even than you were that day, I reckon. They say that when the Griffin's men realized you were coming to stop them, they grew panicked and unsure. How could they take up arms against a man hailed as the hero of Eorzea, the hero who had personally intervened in their lives for the better? Some stood their ground and died then, and therefore, I imagine, while others looked the other way and tried to find some more Imperials to kill, I pray I wasn't foolish enough to try and fight you. I owed you better. I'll have to go verify that sometime, because you know that last, those last pulls on on the wall. You fight and you kill the Griffin's men and women, and they're dressed as Grand Company members. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they're copy pasted faces of Highlander men and women. But I'd have to actually go and go into first person and look at them, because I never have.
Oh, Galleon's dying, so... A man's memories cannot outlive him. Remember that line for later. A lot later. Bereft of hearth and home, beneath your burning star there lies a haven for the bold. Raise up your hands and voices, let fill your heart with pride. Above the churning waters we stand strong and unified. Oh boy, that's hoo hoo. Uh, a little too real there. Oh, I didn't talk to Mist. Oh well, he probably just says, there's the altar, pray, or something. What good are prayers to the dead? They have not ears to listen. Nor eyes to see, or hearts to console. Not remains of them save fleeting recollections, soon lost to time and to the abyss. We are left only with pain, a lingering sadness for names and faces consigned to oblivion. How are we to withstand this relentless onslaught which threatens to consume us? Is there no truth but this, that all men must die? Is this our world to suffer or to shape? Hmm. The God's design. is what we make of it. We cannot save everyone, can we? Sometimes this is all we can do to save ourselves. Does any of it matter? What if aught have we wrought by our own hands? One last time I gave you my word, and I mean to keep it. But know this, every intervention has come at cost, a sacrifice. When I have finished, not will remain of me. But it does not have to be. For all our faults, for all our failures, we have made a difference. All the lives we have shattered, we can make them come together again. 
time and death, our true enemies, need hold no power over us. I can make a place for you in my world. You need only ask. You should go back to Ishgard. You must miss Sid and Riel. Good thing we can teleport. That's maybe maybe not the most meaningful level 68 job quest, but it's the one that I <laughs> I actually remember. All the other level 68 job quests are just sort of like there. <laughs> uh. Though it has been a while, maybe maybe I'm discounting the others. So depressing. <laughs> Our compromise, huh? You knew from the first that there was only one way this could end. Sounds good to me, Junior Mint. So he sucked the life out of some chocobos. Damn. Maybe he's needing... Maybe he was starting to dissipate since he doesn't have that much ether left. That's what it sounds like to me, right? You know, like he said, nothing will remain once I, I've done the last person. I wouldn't really call Mrs. Hair blue. Maybe light blue. It's really more borderline, like, blue-gray. Wow, 
while we're at it, let's go ahead and eat some food. <laughs> Inspector, huh? to the peaks, huh? <laughs> More dead birds. I don't know why he chose to suck the life out of birds in particular. Maybe he's having trouble finding someone to help. You wouldn't think he would need any help in a place like this. As you survey your surroundings, you observe not out of the ordinary, but on the edge of hearing, you hear a whisper to the southwest. Get on with it already, game. Oh look, innocence battle, how about that? And Buckaboo here is a B-rank hunt, and he's kind of ruining the mood. What happened to Riel? Be about it then. Seven hells, I hate being right. On your guard, Mist has shown his true colors. The Aether or whatever else he took from those beasts has given him tremendous strength. Contrary to his earlier warnings, conjuring another simulacrum wasn't the end of him. And all of the wonderful people he had to pluck from our memories, he chose Istri de Kelino. He knows why we're here, and there is his answer. He summoned the monster that haunts Riel in her dreams and sends her screaming from her bed. Forgive me, Sid, but you gave me no choice. Who holds the reins? Though it matters not, we are complicit, you and I. Can you even remember why you came here? Can you even remember how many you've killed? How many lives shattered? How many stories ended? Upon the surface of the crystal are carved the sins of Dark Knight's past, and yours are beyond counting, beyond fathoming, without end. Justice is an excuse. Nobility is a lie. Murder is murder. And though we are definitely not without fault, it is this cruel and different world which has made murderers of us all. But we need suffer no longer. I sought to make these broken souls whole, one by one, when in truth the solution was much more simple. A world beyond pain and suffering and anguish and despair. A world beyond death. A world in which we never need bid farewell to our dearest friends. And how many beasts will you need to kill to make this world of yours? How much aether will you consume to see it through? Bloody self-righteous sophistry from a mewling well. So your brilliant plan is to fill the world with simulacra of the dead, is it? And somehow that's supposed to make everyone happy? 
Well, you're right about one thing, I'll grant you that. This world is brutal, uncaring, without logic or justice. No justice, but that which we make for ourselves. And I'll be damned if I give it, give it up so you can force your illusions upon us to ask what... Acid... Acid... The words are hard. There goes the mood! Uh... Assuage your guilt. Do you not find comfort in your reunion with your master? Even though you knew it was a lie, did it not help you to unburden your soul? To find a measure of peace in this madness? I am not your enemy. Not then or now. I will not fight you. All I ask is that you leave me to my duty. It's never too late to turn back. You're still a good person. You can still be a good person. Maybe you cannot accept what needs to be done, but I can. Goodbye. Hurting me with cheer. So many broken by this world, and then by you. So, so many. Woe betide the man who stands opposed to the weapon of light. For death will be his reward. Death for him and his kin, and all that he holds dear. Woe betide the man who stands with the weapon of light. For death will be his reward. Oh, he said it, said it all again, repeating himself. Like sands through the hourglass, this turned into a soap opera. No, nope, wait. <laughs> Everything we fight so desperately to protect slips through our fingers, and what remains, what remains, is us, only us, and the memory of our sin. To walk this path is to suffer, to sacrifice. I tire of this charade. Serve, save, slave, slay. I have sins aplenty, I, but regrets? Not so much. And if he wouldn't listen to me, the embodiment of good sense and pragmatism, then what hope could you possibly have? The house divided cannot stand, you know. This childish rebellion ends now. What in the seven hells is that? A compromise, I suppose? Our dear friend here refused to let me take the reins, but I wasn't about to stand idly by while that imbecile tries to do whatever it was he was trying to do. No hard feelings about White Brim, huh? Promise not to stab you in the back. It'll be just like old times. Dark Knight needs a sword. Take mine.
No, no, this is wrong. This is all wrong. I offer you peace, restitution, a chance to make amends. Do not think you are above it. Do not think that a reckoning will be postponed indefinitely. Two knights of the heavens ward, and two warriors of darkness. When it comes, I shall welcome it with open arms. But today will not be the day, and you will not be the judge. Deal with the dross, then the boy. A simple plan. Well, that was a little too easy. The gear, you know. He's like summoning the entire heavens to work. Good gravy. Very reverend Archimandrite Sir Severin? The heck? gonna explain this to Arikbert later on. <laughs> Forgive me, forgive me, I ask, I beg, I pray, but it never comes. Again they go to join the multitude in the black oblivion of the abyss. Such is our lot, such is the fate of all who were born to suffer and to die. Do not seek forgiveness, for it will not ease the burden. It weighs as it should. But what of the lost? Did they not deserve to live again? They do, in our hearts, in our souls, and our memories. No one likes having to say goodbye, but it's, it's a part of life. That's what makes the time we share together so precious. You can't obsess over the mistakes of the past, or you'll lose sight of the future. But the people who still go with us, who need us more than ever. The greatest strength is born of the flame in the abyss.
Listen to my voice. Listen to our heartbeat. Listen. I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you. Thank you, that is... that is all I ever wanted. So this is it. One last parting. One final farewell after a fashion. In your darkest hour, in the blackest night, think of me, and I will be with you. Always. For where else could I go? Who else could I love but you? Now we get to go all the way back to Ishgard again to, to collect the reward. It's a pretty heavy uh, job quest line, huh? It got accolades and accolades. As it should. But now we're gonna get the Blackest Night. And what that is, is a 15 second cooldown that creates a barrier around you or one of your party members that absorbs 25% of their maximum HP. And it used to be less. It used to be 20% for you and 10% for anyone you put it on. But uh, honestly, even, even then it was ridiculously good and also now uh, if the shield breaks then uh, you know basically if you used it correctly then you get to use edge of darkness or flood of darkness for free in exchange for proper shield use Forgive us for returning to Ishgard ahead of you. I hope I uh, needed some time to think on everything that happened in Garabanya. I won't pretend to know everything you've been through in your life. A man can never truly understand what's in another's heart, and probably not their own, for that matter. I'm pretty much rambling at this point, but I suppose what I'm trying to say is that I'm grateful for everything you've done for me in Riel. I like you, I respect you, and I'll always be here for you if you need me. We're fellow walkers of the path, after all, and friends, I'd like to think. I've been wondering. Mist appeared at the same time the Soul Crystal cracked, yes? But which happened first? And why then and there? Damned if I know. Does anyone truly understand how Soul Crystals work? What matters is that Christ the Crystal and Clyde have been made whole. That said, a heart bleeds, a man weeps, a soul burns. Thence comes the darkness to consume, and few hearts have bled as much as his. Speaking of bleeding, I think your wounds have reopened. If you would sit, it would be much easier for me to mend, tend to them. You should get some rest too, Clyde. Not all wounds are so obvious. Out of the mouths of babes and sucklings, praise Halony. She's right. <laughs> no, let's read. Praise Halony. She's right, though. No need to overdo it by running off to the next battle just yet. If you must put one foot in front of the other, though, why don't you go back to where this whole damn mess began? Maybe you'll have an epiphany. It's nice to dream of a world without pain and suffering, but the world is what it is, and dreams will c only carry you so far. That's why we've got swords. <laughs> Part of me can't help you but think this was all a fever dream, and then I take a deep breath and feel the pain in my ribs.
I think this is one of the longest job quests as well. The most traveling and the most to do. Although I guess we could put that to the proof when we do the other job quest <laughs> and compare the length. Where it all began, huh? That's a really good musical track from Final Fantasy XI. You should look it up. Would have been absolute tits if they'd played it during this cutscene. Hmm. What troubles you, Master Wyvernhide? Ah, but of course. Tis bitterly cold this day. At times like these, one should be warming themselves by the fire. Not a day goes by without your name being spoken, you know. The soldiers and merchants often bring us news of your latest exploits. That said, to hear it from the hero himself would be much preferable. But there would be no expectation were you to call on us. The pleasure of your company alone would be more than enough. Rare though I expect it will be in the days to come. But your destiny was never to remain here, was it? Though part of me wishes you, that you would. Forgive me, I find myself growing more and more sentimental in my old age. And in working on my memoirs, I have had to reflect on the darker chapters of my life. Orshifon lived his to the fullest, and if his story is preserved for generations to come, then I, I should be glad of it. You always have a place here, Clyde, for you are family. Now go. Do not let me keep you from your labors. The world waits for none, not even you. From the depths of the abyss, you hear a whisper and are filled with a warmth. side gauge expanded so you get a little job sword, you know magical sword indicator for if you've let the barrier break well not let it break but you if you've calculated it correctly it's very unassuming looking but it is literally the most powerful tank cooldown in the game because, I mean, like right now, you know, we've got 73,000 HP. So it would give us, you know, like, uh, 18,000, a little bit over 18,000 more HP to take a hit with. And it's based off your total HP, by the way, not your current HP or anything. So, like, it's always, like, like by the time we get level 80, it'll be a, uh, you know, it'll very easily be over, like, 30, like, 35,000 HP. It makes every tank buster in the game practically a joke. So, in other words, it, it rounds off Dark Knight's uh, mitigation t tool set quite nicely. And almost makes up for the uh, the crappy invulnerability that we have compared to the other tanks. Hmm. Let's go see if Sid and Riel have anything else to say. I don't think that they do, but well, I'm a sucker for checking. I thought about the path and whether I want to walk it myself someday, but after everything that happened with Mist, I think I might want to pursue Conjury instead. Sometimes we have to do bad things for good reasons. I know that, I do, but I'd still rather try to avoid it if I can. If I was a better healer, then maybe I'd have more options. Or something. That Pad Jal. Isumiyan. I could write him a letter. Trouble seems to follow you wherever you go, doesn't it? When it doesn't, you can't help but conjure it up. 
<laughs> anyway, how goes it? We've seen the countless crusades... Or the Countess's crusade died with her. No one has sought us out since that day. Ah, this is just the old stuff. <laughs> have you any thoughts on Mist? I try not to think about that strange boy and whatever he might have been. No one truly understands the nature of soul crystals, not just ours, mind. I heard a rumor once upon a time about paladins and establishing dominance. Bullocks, huh? Anyway, the one thing we know for certain is that the beings he conjured with his magic were not the spirits of the dead, but simulacra, born from the memories of the living. A memory is a hardly a perfect accounting of past events and people. Be it consciously or subconsciously, our perceptions and feelings distort the truth. Take that woman, the cousin of Sir Agnasi. She wanted to make him proud, and so he praised her efforts. Lottie's husband and Galleon's friends were similarly shaped by the desires within their own hearts. And no, I would rather not discuss the implications of my master soundly defeating me, yet somehow letting you win. The point is, those shades spoke not the words of the dead, but the truth of our own hearts. What we bore witness to, to were conversations with oneself. At least, that's what I'm inclined to believe. But like I said, who knows? Soul crystals are strange little things. Perhaps it's best not to dig too deep. And now for the shitpost question. What is a dark knight? <laughs> it's just yeah, it's just there for I just wanted to see if he would be like more surprised now. They always oblige you when you ask that question. I think it's silly. But I guess, you know, they leave it there as an option for you to have in case you forgot. I don't think we have enough time to finish the next quests for the main story, but we do have enough time to at least progress them some part of the way. Unfortunately, I'm not going to finish the 4.0 storyline before maintenance because I have work tonight, so... This will be, uh... Final favor. Give this to my son, he'll understand. <laughs> They've added in like a thunderous accord of people trying to make it seem like, you know, you're not doing this alone or anything. Or, you know, that we have a huge army, I guess. That's ready to take the capital. Man, we're getting more from Mac EXP than we're going to get from this whole quest. But that's because this quest didn't originally give EXP. In classic Final Fantasy XIV fashion, all of the plateau quests for level 70 that never originally gave experience points because there was no point for them to give experience points, uh, they give reduced experience points. Salt elemental? No, wait, salt druva? Yeah, it looks like a colorless forlorn bait, if you ask me. Can I kill three of the things to complete these, this hunt page? Ugh. How dare. I wish they had 
lined up some, you know, non-interactable soldiers on the bridge to make the screaming make sense. Monster casts scathe. Sounds like a salty black mage. Robon's package. his other Tizona. It's gonna have to use it with two hands. I'd expect it. Vice Marshal, Vice Marshal, Imperial unit approaching from the north. Aim to destroy our artillery, are they? How many? Total numbers unconfirmed. At least one squadron. But sir, they're wolfmen. Fairy Domite, bloody hells. That's all we need. Call it the Bloodsworn. Tell them to make ready. Marshal Terrapin, wait. These wolfmen are whom you speak hail from Doma. They were coerced into fighting for the Empire, spirited away to a foreign land, and told that if they disobeyed, the lives of their kin would be forfeited. But their homeland has been liberated. There's no need to continue serving their Imperial masters. Here you engage them in battle, I beseech you. Grant us a moment to go and attempt to convince them to lay down their arms. I am loath to gift our enemy more time to prepare, but if there is a chance this conflict might be avoided. I suppose we must take it. Go then, but be quick. We will, Vice Marshal. With me, Clyde. You, you want to come with us, Pippin? You know, you could try out Tizona. Probably. Maybe. If it doesn't end peacefully. battle. How about that? Honestly, I don't think we got time for it. It's a pretty long battle, even even with my gear and um, I think there's a sink on it, too. Okay, now nah, just level 70 sink. Okay. But, uh, we, you know, we've only got like 8 minutes on the recording. I mean, I guess I could try to get through it. The longer I deliberate, the more it'll be... The worse off will be. So let's see. Worst comes to worst, I can always just... turn it all off or something. That's a level 72 katana. Doma is free. Lord Hien has returned to Jirinyat to you and the Imperials from their lands. We were there. We helped him. There's no need for you to fight for Xenos. Lord Hien is dead and you are a liar. What could a boy such as you do against Magitech? Throw stones and spit curses? Invoke my lord's name again at your peril. We'll suffer no falsehoods. Clyde, you should probably speak up. Oh, 
Okay, we'll kick your ass. First wave didn't last too long. You are no strangers to battle. That much is plain. I am the white. I am Hakuro. And I will be your opponent. Have at you. He's big. Hakuro White Fang. I think we just skipped one of his mechanics. This instance battle gave a lot of people trouble. But I mean, it's just the same mechanics as Bard's metal, you know, just, you know, more telegraph to dodge. So it comes to this. Yeah, he should be doing something special. We might get to see it. Put it to play. Moonstone Carbuncle. I'm gonna get over here and get buffed. If you're not over geared, basically what's supposed to happen is uh Hakuro there, he uh he does a bunch of AoEs again, and there's no way to dodge them all. So you have to stand in that force field with Alpha Node in order to live. We should be glad to do so. If only we had the time.